Today we're going to set up Windows Remote Desktop so that it could use Remote Desktop and connect to our Raspberry Pi. The Remote Desktop is a proprietary software from Microsoft that comes standard with every single Windows installation. So if you open your start menu and type remote desktop, you see that there's a remote desktop connection application, enter, and this window will appear. If you type in the IP address or the computer name if it's on the same network and you have a host name, it will start a connection between your Windows computer to your designated uh, machine, which in our case would be the Raspberry Pi. Right now, we'll start by testing it out. Once again, if we want to see if we have what is our IP, we simply hover over mouse over the um, Wi-Fi and check our IP address, which is 192.168.0.115. And we type the same thing here. 192.168.0.115. And when we press enter, we'll scan our network for the machine and try to connect. Right now, it's not supposed to work because I removed XRDP from the Raspberry Pi. I'll search and it'll, it'll find nothing. If we go back here, oh, there you go. See, I can't find it. Go back here. We're gonna start by installing XRDP. So the command is sudo, let's, see, let's zoom in. sudo, that, get, and it's install. XRDP. Enter. We'll install it. This amount. Downloading the packages. And it should have started the service. I'm not sure, but uh, we're going to try it out on our Windows machine here. Same thing, same application. Remember to put the IP address here. Connect. It finds computer. And say yes if you want. You could simply make it memorize that this computer is okay. And this weird window would show up. In here, type your username. For us, it's pi and your password. Enter. And it'll start a session where we're remotely connected to the Raspberry Pi. See? It's almost a mirror. You're not gonna see the same thing because it's two different sessions. But what this allows us to do is fully use the graphical interface of the Raspberry Pi on our Windows machine without attaching a monitor or a, a keyboard to our Raspberry Pi. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it.